So after you've had some time with the log, seeing and pressing it, another technique is the viper press. It's a one motion, it's great to use in warm-ups. You would use it in a contest if the weight was light enough for you. It's often a way to get more reps in a quicker time. This really hones in on that triple extension movement I was talking about. If you don't practice it, it's kind of, again, a foreign movement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, start the same way with the windows of the log facing out. I'm taking out the part where I sit with it and get low, and again, I'm just going right up overhead. Same time. So start arm straight, lap hopped in, and I'll do it from the side. And what you actually want to see again is if you put it in slow mo, see the log make contact with my hips right before it's overhead. And another really important part is your head itself. The head weighs anywhere from six to ten pounds, depending upon the person. And sometimes you'll get stuck at that last quarter of the press, and you can actually use the momentum of your head to get it uh, to get the last part up. So unless I'm really forcing my head through on these. And again, if you pay attention to my. I would recommend watching this once on slow-mo and paying attention to my feet, and then watching it again on slow-mo and paying attention to my hips. And you'll notice I'm going on my tiptoes. Again, at this point in time, that's not something I even think about. Once you can nail that triple extension, it's kind of like riding a bike, and you won't lose it. <laughs> 